You all right, Wolf and Wolfettes? How are you all doing today? So today, I'm gonna hopefully be uploading my very first mental health video. Now, apologies that it's taken almost two years to make this video. Back in 2020, I did mention during my Q&A that I wanted to start making mental health videos and then proceeded to not upload any for nearly two years. Now, the reason it's taken me this long is because the last two years have been pretty rough in my personal life. So sitting down in front of the camera, talking about my own mental health whilst also giving you guys and girls advice just felt like a really, really bad idea. And on the brief few days that I was feeling a little bit more myself mentally, and I did try to make these videos, I sat down in front of the camera trying to put every single little bit of information I had into one video that could help with your mental health. And the videos were ending up like three hours long. I was repeating myself several times. I was fumbling over my words. I was stuttering and the videos were just an incoherent mess. So I've decided to delete them and start making videos like this instead where I will focus on one subject per video. And as you can see from the title of this video, today we are gonna be focusing on writing and how it can help with your mental health. Now this video will be beneficial for you if you are struggling with any of the following things. That horrible inner critic inside of your head, that horrible evil little voice in your head that can completely ruin your life sometimes. Depression, any suicidal thoughts or any plans of suicide. And if you are struggling with expressing any thoughts or feelings or any emotions and you're just having a very hard time, explain it to somebody just how rubbish you are feeling. So if any of those things resonate with you, then hopefully this video will help you. Now obviously I'm going to be using my own situation to speak about how each of these things help me and then you will apply it to your own situation and hopefully it will help you. So let's get into the video. Now the reason that I'm starting with writing is because I feel like many of us leave school, become adults and we no longer write things anymore. We no longer pick up a notebook and write things anymore. We jump on our phones and we make notes on our phone. We send text messages, we go on Messenger and WhatsApp. We might have an office job where we're typing all day on a keyboard for our boss or maybe you're just on your computer typing to your friends but we never sit down with a nice notepad with good paper with a good pen and just write stuff anymore so that's the reason why i wanted to start off with writing because i feel like it's something that many of you don't do anymore because i know i don't and it could be very beneficial for you but just get yourself a very nice notebook a notebook you like using preferably one that's got some nice paper in it in my case i use this notebook right here as you can see it's a, a playstation one console themed notebook so it fits my personality and get yourself a nice pen because that's going to make this experience just that little bit more therapeutic but let's start getting into the uh, important stuff now the first way that writing can help with your mental health is if you are dealing with that horrible inner critic that all of us have deep with inside our brains, that horrible little negative voice inside of our heads that just bully us constantly, day in and day out. Now, obviously I'm gonna talk about my own situation, but you guys and girls will apply it to your own situation. But in my case, I've got this horrible little mini version of Beowulf living inside my head that will continuously, without fail, every single day tell me that I'm a failure, that I'm a loser, that I'm never gonna go anywhere in life, that I'm never gonna achieve anything, that I should just give up on anything that I do. And I've got these voices in my head every single day without foul. No matter what I've achieved, no matter how good the day has been, I will hear those voices in my head without foul. So the way that writing has helped me is I make sure that I keep my notebook next to my bed on my bedside cabinet and a nice pen like I mentioned and then every single night after I've brushed my teeth, taken my asthma inhalers and I get into bed, I need to write down everything, and I mean everything, no matter how big, no matter how small, every single achievement that I've done throughout the day. And it doesn't have to be anything major. When I say minor, I mean minor. You can literally write, write down that you drunk enough water that day. Just something minor like that. So I might you know, write in there that I recorded three good videos today. I might write down that I got a new personal best when I did my weightlifting. I might write down that I um, managed to uh, clean the school 30 minutes 
quicker when I was at work. You know, it can be absolutely anything or it could be anything minor. But without fail, every single night, no matter how much you don't want to, no matter how much your mind is telling you that you are a failure and you didn't achieve anything that day, you need to pick up your book and you need to write down everything that you've achieved. Now, you've got to do it every night. Now, when you first start doing this, it won't have much of an effect. It w I think this will take probably a good month before it starts having an effect. But if you write down in the book every single night everything that you've achieved, then what you'll find yourself doing is instead of walking around throughout the day with that horrible little voice in your head telling you that you failed, telling you that you're no good, that voice in your head, instead it's starting to look for things you've achieved because you start thinking to yourself, oh crap, when I go to bed tonight, I've got to write down all of the things I've achieved. So then instead of looking for things you failed at or telling yourself that you failed at things, your mind starts to slowly change and it will start telling you like, you know, oh, what have I achieved today? And you'll start thinking about achievements like, oh man, I ate a lot of fruit and vegetables today. Oh man, I, I went for a very long run today and I went for a mile run instead of a half a mile run, you know, just stuff like that. And then your mind slowly starts to change, but it's a very slow process. But when it happens, you'll notice it and you'll, you'll be shocked how well this actually works. So just every single night, you just get down in your bed, you know, sleep naked, put your pajamas on, whatever you're doing, you get into bed, you pick up your notebook and you start writing down your achievements. And in my case, and if you're dealing with depression as well, this can also help with that as well. Because when you're depressed, everything in life just feels 10 times harder than it already is. So you could write down stuff like, got out of bed today, if you're feeling depressed, getting out of bed is a monumentous task sometimes. So you can write that down. And then when you're feeling depressed and you feel like you're just not doing nothing with your life because of how you're feeling, you then look at your notepad and you see all of the things you did that day, all of the things you achieved. And on top of that, you were depressed. You know, these things are sometimes harder for people without depression to do and you just did them as well. So then you could pat yourself on the back. So writing can really help with this, but Obviously, this is my circumstances. This is what I use it for. For me, it's because I have this voice in my head that's telling me I'm a failure. But you might have a different voice in your head. So you will apply this to yourself. You know? And that is the first way that writing can help with your mental health. And hopefully everything I said then makes sense. This is this is going to be a rough video for me to make. So if all of this don't make sense, I do apologise. See, see, this is the voice in my head now trying some bullshit. See what I mean? Now, now I should write down that I've made a great video. You see what I mean? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's why writing can help a lot. Trust me, it can. But this is uh, the first way it can help you. Now, the second way that writing can help you is if you are having any suicidal thoughts to the point where you feel like you might possibly attempt to take your life one day. Now, the way that writing can help, and I learned this from my counsellor because I had, to, I had to actually do this myself back in 2019 because, you know, for my older fans, you'll know that that was a bad year for me. But what you basically do is, when you're in a better frame of mind, you get your notebook and you basically have to write yourself a letter. Now in this letter, you wanna include things like your hopes and your dreams for the future. You know, you wanna write down all of the people that care about you, all of the people that love you. You wanna talk about all of your favorite things. This has basically gotta be a love letter to yourself. And I'm gonna tell you right now, this is gonna be something that you're probably gonna spend many, many weeks trying to write. Maybe less, maybe more, because trying to be nice to yourself, especially when you're in that state of mind, is very difficult. But you, you're basically writing a love letter to yourself, and it's all positive, all the positives of the future, all of the hopes and dreams, talking about all the people that care about you, all of the happy memories, all future memories that you wanna make in the future. And basically what you need to do is when you've wrote it, you put it in an envelope, and you pull it somewhere where you will remember its location. Somewhere very obvious, but obviously not where any of your family members will find it, because if they start reading it, that's gonna just cause all sorts of issues. But it's just for you. And the idea of this letter is, if you are ever in a bad place mentally, and you, you're starting to think, you know, you might wanna go and take your own life, because you know people do end up in that state sometimes, and 
you start thinking no one cares about you, nobody will care if you're gone, you start thinking all of those silly thoughts, you get that letter, you open it, and you read it. And it can help just snap you out of things when you start reading all of these people that care about you. You start suddenly remembering things you want to do. Because you might have forgot about some of these things, especially when your mind's in a hectic state like that. So write yourself a letter, a very kind letter to you. And if any of you are struggling, if any of you are watching this right now and you do feel suicidal, and you're thinking, I can't write anything like that, I can't write, nobody cares about me, no one cares about me, who am I supposed to write? Write me, write B Wolf, write David. David B Wolf the Wolf cares about you, he loves you. So even if you have to write me down, I don't care, you can put me down if you want, I do love you. But just write a nice letter to yourself and keep it somewhere where you will remember, and then when the time comes, hopefully never, but when the time does come, if it does, then you read that letter and hopefully it will snap you out of it and stop you from doing anything silly. Just never do it, Wolf and Wolf. It's, I, I know the feeling, you know, I know what it's like to be in that dark place where you just want to end it all and it it would be a, it would be a much easier solution, but we ain't going to do that because we're not going to make other people feel sad. Just remember, Wolf and Wolf, it's, this is a bit of a, I'm going off on a bit of a tangent now, but just remember, if you ever do take your life no matter how horrible your life may be, if you take your life, I guarantee you there's at least one person in this world that loves you. And how would you feel if you took your life knowing that they were hurt so bad that they wanted to take their life? Maybe they take their life and then people that care about them take their life. The amount of pain and suffering that's been created because you've done what you've done, you just don't want to do it, okay? Just keep that in your head, you know? You don't want to cause suffering to other people. You don't want to make other people feel as crap as you feel, you know? But just get this letter written Remember where it is, this letter wrote. Remember where it is, and then if the time ever comes where you need it, then read it. But yeah, that's the second way that writing can help with your mental health. Now the third way that writing can help with your mental health is if you are struggling with getting out any thoughts, emotions, feelings, anything that's just stuck in your brain that you really want to get out of your body and express and maybe tell somebody, maybe use it to show somebody how you're feeling. And the way that you can do that is a mixture of writing and music. Now, back in 2019, shortly after I uh, went through the breakup with my fiance, I was having a very, very hard time explaining to my counselor the sheer amount of pain that I was feeling because it was, because it was talking about sadness and stuff like that. And I was very bad at talking about how sad I was. I could talk about anger very easily, but I couldn't talk about sadness and I couldn't really express it properly. So what I did one day was I was thinking about my favorite rap artists, you know, NF, Hopsin, Eminem. And I was thinking about how they would write down the traumas of their life in their music. And I started thinking to myself, maybe I could do that. Maybe I could try something like that. So I thought to myself, I will go onto YouTube and I would find some instrumentals, preferably sad ones, stuff like on Anabolic Beats and other channels, and I would listen to those instrumentals, sad ones, rap ones. You can take whatever genre you want, pop, rock, it doesn't matter, any kind of genre and any kind of music that fits the mood of what you're trying to express. And I would just like close my eyes and just listen to the beat and I would like basically try to write a, a rap about what was going on with me, but I would take myself out of it. It's like I was just writing a song about somebody that didn't exist, but it was actually me. So I would just write a rap to the beat. It doesn't need a, doesn't need a rhyme, it doesn't need to be as good as Eminem. You just basically write lyrics. Just write lyrics to this instrumental that you're listening to. And just any, any little thought that comes out, any little feeling that comes out, no matter how disgusting it may be, no matter how psychotic it could be, no matter how devastating it could be, whatever comes out of your head, just write. Listen to this music and just write write a story. You know, do like what Eminem does. You know, like that song he did about his ex-wife, Kim. That is brutal, but think of all the anger he got out of himself with that song. So just stuff like that. So go onto YouTube or any website, SoundCloud, find instrumentals, listen to them and just write. And you will be surprised how much this can help. Because I wrote a very sad thing about just the pain I was feeling during that breakup and I was able to talk to my counselor Amy back in 2019 and I was, she was able to help me a lot more because I was able to really express what was going around in my head. So just, you know, get yourself a notebook, get yourself a pen, stick on an instrumental, any kind of genre, it doesn't matter. 
even a happy, even if you're having trouble getting out happiness, it could be the same thing because that could be a problem. If you've had such a horrible life, you're used to being sad. Feeling happy can be foreign to you. So just put on a happy tune, you know, and then just just write lyrics, just write words to that song about how you're feeling. And because you're focusing on writing the song instead of talking about yourself, even though it is about yourself, in a strange way, it just it comes out easier, you know. So just try it. Get yourself a book. Listen to songs and write whatever comes to your mind, anything. Don't doesn't matter what it is. And don't try and write a good song as well, because I tried doing that, it was stupid. It really it ruins the the effect if you try and write a good song. This is not for anyone's consumption, it's just for you to uh, get your thoughts and feelings out. But if it does end up being good, fuck fuck it, release it. You might be the next Eminem, or you might be the next I don't know, Beyonce or something, but jokes aside, seriously, try it. Just write some stuff. But that's basically going to be it for this video. So yeah, writing, it can help with that inner critic within your head. It can help with um, depression. If you do what I said, basically, it can help with your depression. Just write down all the little things you did throughout the day. You know, if you're feeling depressed, write down all the little achievements you've made and then you'll, it should hopefully help you to feel better about yourself. Um, the note, the, obviously the love letter to yourself if you're feeling suicidal and writing yourself basically a song just to get those trapped thoughts and emotions out of your head but just hopefully this video has been helpful Wolf and Wolf it's, it's, it's been two years in the making so uh, I don't know if it's turned out good or not hopefully I've said some useful stuff in this some of the writing things I learnt from my counsellor the uh, first thing and the second thing the third thing is just something I've tried myself but yeah anyway Thanks for watching Wolf More Vets. Um, hopefully this video will be uh, beneficial to you. Um, I don't know when, when the next one will come along. Uh, I think the next one, if I do make it, when I make it, I will make it, but it'll be when I make it. It will most likely be talking about how physical exercise can help with your mental health. Because I tell you what, Wolf More Vets, weightlifting, even though I'm not the biggest guy in the world, I mean, you can see me right now, um, weightlifting has helped me probably the most out of anything so that's probably what part two will be talking about but yeah thanks for watching hopefully this helped like share and join the pack today